<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the first review on my channel. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing great. I'm excited to get this started. And today we have with us the first set I'll be reviewing. We have set 75320, the Snowtrooper Battle Pack. So, thoughts uh, on just the box art? I love it. I like how we got the little Darth Vader here on the side too. Also like the black printing and the little Lego brick on the side. Looks really good. Showcases all the figures on the front. And then we go to the back. And then you get to see all the extra stuff too. You got behind the little snowbank here. Shows off more of the characters. And then you also got the um, turret and the speeder bike. Same thing as you were on the front. So this set in the US is retailing for about $20. So tad bit extra than what we're used to with battle packs, which really kind of sucks because they used to be about $15, but they decided, you know what? We're just gonna bump up the price because Lego likes to do that. So uh, um, a tad bit unfortunate because this should really be more $15, but it's okay. But you know, Lego, Star Wars has started to do the uh, minifigure packs, which are now $15, and those ones you get three characters. Um, and of course, we got the Attack of the Clones uh, minifigure pack, and then we also got the Hoth um, Rebel pack, which I would strongly recommend that um, you pick up a Hoth minifigure pack because it would go really well with this. It really complements it nicely. So, um, Without further more, uh, let's dive into it. So we get a total of four minifigures in this set, and three of which are snow troopers. And we'll take a look quickly at the figures here. They have um, really nice uh, torso and leg printing. I like how the little little cape uh, that we we used to get a cape with the old versions, but it's been printed on now in this case, and it looks quite nice. Um, Really nice printing. I like the uh, how the hands are also another color, like as if they're wearing gloves. And then we also get do get some nice back printing with the belt and the armor piece and then the little glowing red lights on the back. And um, these figures uh, each do come with uh, different uh, head molds. And um, this one, I believe, hold on. Come, Ooh, just dropped him. Each of them come with different head molds. So we have a nice head mold here on this figure. And I like how they're kind of doing uh, different like ethnicities and races as um, as Stormtrooper characters, really showing how diverse the Empire was. Um, but yeah, this is the first one. And he also has the, um, the regular blaster as well. And here we have the exact same snow trooper model, just has a different face print as well. And the last snow trooper has a bit of a bigger blaster. I, I know that there's a name for this blaster. I can't remember. If you know what it is, leave it in the comment section. I will remember. I think it's a DC something, I can't remember. And then this figure also does come with a different face print as well. Which I don't think I've ever seen um, this face oh he just he died <laughs> um but i don't think i've ever seen this face print on a uh a clone character or a um a snow trooper before so it looks like it's new to me but i can definitely see lego reusing that a lot for this guy um or just for the the armies in general but i like it it's different so I'll and of it. course our last figure is the most unique to this set and that being the hoth scout trooper now this one is cool because um the this is a new variant and um instead of the endor troopers who who usually are uh, have the black arms and the black um body printing have been switched out for gray uh, arms instead so that's quite literally the only difference between the two um and the helmets look amazing. So if you've been wanting to get Scout Troopers um, in a cheap set, this is going to be how you do it. Um, sadly, I believe that there are only two other sets where you can get the normal Scout Trooper. And those are in the Razor Crest set. And I believe the Lego Advent Calendar that came out 
um, this past year. So sadly, there's no way to get those um, black ones um, for cheap unless you buy them off of eBay or off of a, uh, a Lego dealer that you happen to know. Um, but they have, I really like this helmet mold um, and the body printing is amazing. And of course they come with a small little uh, hand blaster. Um, again, don't know the name of that blaster. If you know that, leave it in the comment section. And they also have back printing. And I love not only that, but if you look at the helmet, it even has printing on the helmet, which I like. And then the um, little uh, tube on the back is really cool. And then this one as well um, comes with its own unique face printing there. So that's pretty sweet. Um, Getting into the builds of this set now, we have the first thing, which I'm going to say I like the most probably out of all the builds, and that is the speeder bike. Um, I really like this build. I think it's really compact, which I like about Star Wars um, speeders. Some of the speeders we've gotten in the past are uh, they're a little big, which I don't mind. I mean, they're they're fine and they make for solid builds. But this one feels like it's just it just fits, especially within a twenty dollar battle pack. Like this is a pretty decently sized speeder, and I feel like you can have a lot more fun with this because it is minifig scale. I feel. Um, I also really like the little foot, little foot holders in the bottom here. Those are pretty cool. And then the handles, obviously you can, you can take the blaster out of, um, the scout troopers hands and they can put both hands on the speeder bike, but, uh, she's probably going to want one arm free so she can fire at that. So she can fire at those, uh, rebel scum with her blaster. Cause you know, they're always up to no good, them rebel scum. And then I really like the little uh, control panel piece right here in between. Sorry, I just, just get some better lighting. You can see all the little uh, dots and buttons and doodads you got to press to uh, to uh, get rid of the enemy. But yeah, I like the speeder design, and we'll move on to the next thing. Our second build is going to be an e-web turret, and I really like the way this looks. Um, it's really cool. I like how... Uh, the bottom pieces here are little blasters, which if you don't recognize where these uh, came from, uh, there was a Lego line that came out a couple years ago, or it's been, almost been a decade now, I think at this point, called it was like Lego Alien Invasion. And there were these, uh, these characters called ACU, which stand for Alien Containment Unit, and they had these little blasters right here. If you guys remember what I'm talking about, then leave a comment because I definitely bought a couple of those sets and those are those are really fun. Um, and then obviously the way it works, you press down this button and a stud shoots out. I will demonstrate, which is actually kind of funny because uh, I, I saw how this worked and I didn't realize how much power this had. So you just press down and it worked. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, I did it a second ago and it worked quite well. But um, you get the idea. You shoot the stud, and then hit knocks the figure over, and then they're they're unalived, I guess we'll call them. But yeah, it's a it's a cool uh, it's a cool uh, eweb, and I like its design. And our last build that we have here is we have this little um, little barrier made of snow, so that way you can like fit your figures behind it, and they can like have some cover while they're firing at the enemy. And actually, no, even though, like, you know, it's it's not the most interesting thing, I still do quite like it. And um, even though it's it's just a landscape piece, I actually like it a lot. And um, if you turn it around, there's a pair of binoculars right here you can put in your your character's hands. And I also like it, too. You can – and you have a place for a cover so you can put your characters behind. It's like he can stay here and – uh fire at the enemy sneak behind and sit there you can put probably two snow troopers behind there too if you really wanted to but um nothing a whole lot going on with that i think it'd be cool if you bought three of these sets and then you put a bunch of these uh barriers side by side i think that would be really cool because you could turn it into something super big or you could custom uh make it and turn it into something all in your own but uh yeah so now we're gonna go to my overall thoughts so, um, let's talk about it. So, I think this is a great set. Um, at the $20 price point, though, I do feel like it is a tad bit unnecessary. I still feel like it should have been $15. 
Uh, but you know they go. They always like to to make you pay more than what it's worth. But um, twenty dollars isn't that bad. As far as collectability, I'm definitely gonna grab me another one of these. This is a pretty cool set. Um, and as far as I playability, there's a lot of playability here. You get your spear, you get your e-web, you got your little cover thing behind here, and you're getting three snow troopers in a battle pack, which is pretty cool, and then you're getting one Hoth um scout trooper, which is pretty solid. Uh sets that this will really pair well with. This will pair well with the um Hoth uh ATST that just came out, which I'm gonna do a review of that in my next video, which stay tuned, that will be coming up soon. This will also go well with the Hoth uh, minifigure pack, which comes with the, th uh, ooh, forgot to count, the three Hoth troopers, um, which is pretty solid. If you get two of those and then two more of these, then you got yourself a whole Hoth battle scene, which is pretty cool. And then if you really, really wanted to, um, you could get the uh, UCS uh at at for five hundred dollars but i don't really think that's gonna be in most people's price point so if um you really wanted to fill up that at at because i believe it has like i think it's like 40 plus seats you're gonna ha you can get as many of these battle packs and i'm probably thinking it's gonna be like 24 so and you can fill up that ucs at at uh, if you wanted to but yeah, um, thank you for uh, watching this video. I appreciate your time uh, out of your day to come down here to take a listen. And uh, <laughs> this is so awkward. I need to get better at doing my endings, my outros. But um, thank you for uh, watching GP Reviews. And you guys have a wonderful evening.